Hey guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is my empties for April and this is take two. <laughs> I filmed this video earlier today and I was about 90% through the video when my battery died and I, don't, I was thinking, you know, the phone will save whatever I have filmed and I'll just, you know, charge my phone for a little bit and continue where I left off. But no, the whole thing got erased. <laughs> Nothing got saved. So I'm going to say start all over again from the beginning this might go a little bit faster but yes anyway I don't have that many products to show you guys but I did finish some big things so let's just get started I'm gonna start with this thing this is a bath pillow if you guys saw my latest Marshall's haul you guys will have seen that I bought a new one because this one is just nasty looking and it's just it's not very comfortable anymore the little beads here that are supposed to like shape your head here um, are all squished to the sides and I've tried pushing them back to the center and they just they just won't go So I decided that it was time to get a new one And so I can throw that away now and then speaking of baths. I used up this huge thing of uh, bubble bath This is the Peck Sniffs England in the grapefruit and citron uh, Scent this is a lux luxurious bub bath soak and this really does feel very luxurious it creates really dense bubbles and the bubbles don't um, fade away as the bath goes go as you <laughs> as you take your bath. There are some bubble baths that you know they'll start out really foamy. By the end of the bath, it's just like like very few bubbles. If that, it just look, it looks like foam, um, not really like huge lathery bubbles. Uh, but this doesn't do that. The bubbles stay through the whole bath. And you feel really moisturized and clean afterwards so I really did enjoy this one and then also going along with bath stuff I used up a bubble bath from Lush this is a dragon's egg bubble bath really enjoyed it very nice smelling um, I'm really bad at describing scents but I really did enjoy this one I had actually I used up the whole thing because I tried to cut it and this one was one of the ones that are kind of like hollow inside and they just have glitter so once I cut it open this whole this glitter came out and I didn't want to let it go to waste um, and I didn't want to put it in here and then with the loose glitter so I just put everything in the bath uh, and I liked it really moisturizing and I would purchase this again in the future I would have to place an order online because there's no lush here where I live so anyway uh, for hair, I used up this Bliss Labs Lemon and Sage Conditioning Rinse. This is a uh, conditioner, obviously, and this is one liter. I bought this at Marshalls. And the tank fell off, but I paid, I want to say, 10 or $12 for this. If that, I've seen them around at Marshalls uh, still, but they're not on clearance. This one was clearanced out. I don't, I don't understand how some things are clearanced out and some are not, and they're the same product. I don't really get it but this one was clear and style like I said um, there's nothing here I completely finished it up you guys can't see that but it smells really really nice I am working on the body butter of the same scent right now and I would I would purchase it again if I saw it on clearance maybe not full priced I mean full price is I think $16.99 I wouldn't buy that for I wouldn't buy it for $16.99 but for $12 or 10 I certainly would then I have another thing for the shower. I have this bar soap from the Olot, Olet, um brand. These are like Scottish soaps and they're really moisturizing. I really did enjoy this bar soap, but this bar soap was huge. Oh, sweet Lord, it was huge. This is all I have left and it kind of curves down. Um, it's very, very thin here in the center. It looks like it might be a little bit wider, but because it curves, um, there's not much here and it's very hard for me to use in the shower. So. That's all I have here, uh, but this bar soap was the size of this container, like, like all you see here, all that was full of bar soap. So, I mean, if you put it into perspective, <laughs> that is a lot of soap right there and then right here. Like that is a lot of soap. My goodness, this lasted me, like I said, three and a half like two and a half months for just one person that is a lot and i know i understand um what do you call it bar soaps are better for the environment but they're just i just don't don't they're not my thing 
Um, then I have two bar, two bar soaps, two hand soaps from Bath and Body Works. They're both the foaming hand soaps. This one was Kitchen Lemon I had in the kitchen and this one was Beautiful Day I had in the bathroom. Uh, these scents I love. I would repurchase over and over again. Uh, this one was very citrusy and you could really smell the green apple on this one. Um, really do enjoy them and I would purchase them again in the future. Then if you guys have seen my Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo update, I finished two little things here. This one's from Garnier. This is an ultimate cleanser. You can either use this as a facial cleanser or as a face mask. It's kind of like a like a clay consistency. I don't know if you guys can see that, um, but it smells really nice. Um, I use it both as a cleanser and as a mask, and it lathers up really nice. It, if you do use it as a mask, you don't have a hard time rinsing it off. It rinses out really nice, and like I said, it lathers. It smells really good. I would purchase it in the future, not anytime soon though, because I have so many, so much skincare, but I would recommend this one. This one is a good one from the drugstore. Then I have this foot and leg energizing lotion from Mary Kay. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I also had this in the project pan. Like I said, this one was kind of like a tingling feeling. It was great for when your feet and your legs are tired. And I would love to put this um, when I get home from work, I would put it on my legs and then elevate my legs on like two pillows or something and it would really really re-energize my legs it would make me feel not as tired then i have this yes to grapefruit daily facial scrub i really enjoy this one i love the way it smells i really felt like it made my my face really clean and it helped brighten it um, especially when i had um like uh, breakouts on my face i felt like this helped heal the scars faster and it didn't leave any like um discoloration on my face it helped with that i really do enjoy this one this one that was actually expired it expired in march of 2016 oops over a year ago but it didn't break me out and it, it didn't cause a rash or anything so i enjoy it and i would consider purchasing again in the future but like i said i have a lot of skincare right now that i don't need to then i have this Caudalie, um makeup remover cleansing water i really really enjoy this one this one was super old though. I had this in my under my sink and I finally pulled it out and I used it, but I don't think they no longer make this because I went out to Sephora and I didn't see it. I didn't go to the Caudalie uh, website though or anywhere else online. I just went to Sephora, they didn't have it and that's where I used to purchase it. So I don't think they sell this anymore, but I really did enjoy this one and it smelled really nice too. Really, really nice and really fresh. Um, nothing like obnoxious scented or anything like that then I have a few little things here where do we start okay we'll start with this this is the uh, shower oil the amount shower oil from L'Occitane this is the like almond oil really really nice it looks like I still have some there but it wouldn't come out from the top when I was taking a shower anymore um, I really do enjoy this but I think this would be something that I would use more in the winter um, it does leave your skin very very moisturized but like i said i don't need this much this much moisture now that it's like 100 degrees outside i would save this for in the winter when i actually do need the the moisture but really really nice it smells really nice and i would consider buying that in the future i think i said that like three times already then i'm getting rid of my uh, bosha cognac sponge this is the sponge right here you immerse it in water and it gets like softer and supposed to help exfoliate your face. I had this for like eight months. Uh, I had it in the shower. I don't know what that is. Uh, I had it in the shower. I didn't use it every day just because I really didn't notice a difference of when I used it and when I didn't. So um, I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase that. I think that came like in a favorites kit from Sephora or something like that. Then, uh, random things here. I used up this Glide Pro Health Dental Floss, my favorite kind of dental floss, would always repurchase. Then I used up this pocket bag from Bath & Body Works. This is in the Winter Wonderland scent. This had a very grape, like grape Kool-Aid scent. <laughs> I liked it at first, but then afterwards I got tired of it. I wouldn't purchase that scent again. Then I have, <clears throat> I have this white tree aloe body lotion I got this little lotion from a hotel from a conference that I went to earlier in the year and I had this in my purse and I used it as hand cream then I had this little deluxe sample of the Briogeo don't despair repair hair mask this is not really a mask to me I think this is very light 
to me a mask has to be kind of thick and this is very it has the same consistency to me as the as a regular conditioner you guys can't see anything but um it was okay i mean I, I used it because i had it but i wouldn't go out of my way to purchase it on my own and then i have this little eye cream here from origins this is a transcription anti-aging power eye cream and this little guy lasted me like six weeks i want to say um a little bit went a long way it was very very lightweight but very moisturizing as well you could use this either morning or night but i only used it in the morning because it was very light weight and it wasn't greasy i was able it would sink in right away into my skin and i was able to apply my makeup right away i didn't have to wait like a long time for it to sink in before i did my makeup so i really enjoyed it um i still like the alginist uh, eye balm better and if i have another sample of this i will gladly use it but i don't think i would repurchase that on my own i usually don't show you guys like when i finish cotton or q-tips or anything like that but i wanted to talk about these um these are the organic beauty these are the natural cotton pads this is what they look like it was like a little tube of 70 cotton rounds in here and these are all organic they even have an expiration date which i thought it was kind of weird so these were produced in 2015 and they expired in 2020 you can see it right there i had never um, come across across anything any kind of cotton product that had an expiration date i thought that was kind of weird uh, but 2017 right in the middle of the of the good season i guess i don't know what i'm trying to say um but i really did enjoy these i bought these on amazon actually i was about two dollars or so away from free shipping and i didn't know what to get so i i went over to the beauty section and i found these and i bought them and they were really nice one side it was soft and on the other side it was a little bit textured um kind of like an exfoliating side it wasn't very it wasn't too abrasive the exfoliating side but the part that was soft that was very re reminiscent to me of the shiseido um what do you call it cotton squares uh, which i love so i was really impressed with these and if i needed to complete my free shipping with something i would use these again i really really did enjoy those then i used up a pack of baby wipes these are the all-purpose baby wipes i bought these at walmart um i use this to wipe my hands from when i do my makeup or wipe the counter um very multi-purpose wipes i really like those and then i was very lazy this month um usually i use a cleansing oil and then i wash my face but this month i decided to go with makeup wipes the first pack that i have here is this little sample from the ulta beauty on the go cleansing makeup remover facial towelettes that's a long name there was five in here and i actually did enjoy the the, the the wipe was very was nice it was it had a nice size it wasn't too small it wasn't too big and it actually did remove my makeup very very well i didn't have to like tug at my skin a lot so i would actually consider purchasing those like in the full pack then i have the ones from ula henriksen so the makeup removing removing moringa and borage seed oils to remove waterproof makeup i really enjoyed these and i really enjoy how they smell however with this when i use these i feel like when i go with my toner i still see traces of makeup with my toner so i have to like double tone to make sure that i get all the product out i really like how it smells on a heavy duty makeup day these will not do but on a light day these work fine and then this last pack here are the ones from elf these are the makeup remover, removing cleansing cloths there were 20 in here and these were from the original packs i know that they have recently changed the ingredients there was a big thing that i read online about people being upset about the ingredients that were changed uh, but like i said this is the last pack i haven't tried the new formula so i hope they're as good as these because i really do enjoy these then i used up uh, my last of my hand masks these are the argan hand masks and i really enjoy these hand masks they're like gloves that you put on and then the gloves have like a little tab here that you actually peel off and you wrap around your wrist so that the glove stays put and you leave them on for about 15 minutes oh no 30 minutes and when you remove them you just kind of like rub the rest of the lotion into your hands and your hands are very very soft uh, i really do enjoy these i buy these at marshall's i haven't seen them in a while 
but um, every time I go to Marshalls, I keep an eye out for these because I really do enjoy them. And then I have three face masks here. I have one from Karuna. And this was the hydrating face mask. I really did enjoy this one. It was nice, a nice size. It fit my face quite nicely. Um, it was my, face, my first experience with a Karuna mask and I did enjoy it. And then I have two from the Estee Lauder uh, Micro Essence Infusion Mask. This is, this is also a hydrating mask. I don't know why my, my skin has been feeling a little bit um, dry and I think it's because I haven't been washing my face. I've just been like removing my um, makeup with wipes and I think that's that's been affecting my, my like the moisture in my face. Um, I don't know, it could be something else, but anyway, I like how these work. I just hate the way they smell. Ugh. They smell really bad. I don't like how they smell. They are very saturated with products, so the smell kind of like lingers even after you take it off. Uh, I'm just gonna use, I have three more left, uh, but I don't think I would repurchase because like I said, I don't like the scent. And the last thing that I have here um, is like a home thing. This is the Turquoise Waters Wallflowers from Bath & Body Works. I used up the two wallflowers that are here. Uh, really enjoy the scent of these and that's all I have for home fragrance because like I said now it's getting really hot and I don't I'm not really burning candles because it's it's really hot and I feel like candles make the house hotter I don't know so anyway guys those are my empties for the month much of it for the month <laughs> for the month of April I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you on my next video bye